As an oncologist, try to address a, a fundamental challenge in clinical oncology today, which is cancer evolution. What ends up happening is that we have effective therapies and we have more and more effective therapies with each year that goes by. But in many instances, these therapies are only effective for a short interval. And after that time period, cancer evolves, comes back, and comes back in a more aggressive and resistant form, and result in a disease that's very heterogeneous. Now when we apply the therapy, and that results in the fact that the therapies, uh, cancers can evolve to overcome our best therapies. Now what compelled you to use machine learning in addressing those kind of problems? And now we are faced with the challenge of how do we combine those drugs? Which drugs should we choose? How do we personalize this decision? How to make the cocktail. Exactly. So the typical approach that we had in clinical oncology for many decades was to design clinical trials. And it breaks down when the number of different combinations in that cocktail becomes larger and larger. And we realize that we need to apply data science approaches that would allow us to uh, probabilistically anticipate the evolutionary potential of each individual leukemia in each individual patient. We started sampling the leukemia along the therapy, along the clinical course, every few weeks. And that compelled us to try and uh, apply data science approaches such as machine learning to learn from this dense temporal genomic information, how different clones are behaving within the leukemia uh, as a result of the therapeutic intervention. Uh, so now we are able to integrate, on the one hand, the scientific method that tries to define the underlying principles and make prediction based on that, with machine learning, artificial intelligence type methods that use this type of black box prediction that we can then use to feed into our algorithm. And when we look around us, uh, there are many companies and entities that are using data science, artificial intelligence, to change real world outcomes. The adaptive nature of cancer, if we're able to match that with adaptive therapeutics, then we're, we'll be able, hopefully, to anticipate the evolutionary potential of cancer and to disrupt it with our adaptive therapeutic protocol.